because we all don't want to be awkward and we all don't like these afflictions and then if somebody says it in such a normalizing way we all relax and say okay well maybe I'm not as as bad and and and, and stupid and awkward and and wrong and flawed than I thought and that's really what is happening here it's a place of complete empowerment complete empowerment seeing how powerful we are and how exalted we are and we can be as awkward and as depressed or as afflicted as you can be more than you think <laughs> and and you see you're totally okay you're totally empowered you're not only only okay not only stable that's like the beginning point to be completely stable in it all but you're empowered you're empowered with no matter what is going on and the center is like just this place here and lots of people in one place from all over the world and we have all kinds of things going on about ourselves that's mainly like we just really get to know ourselves and then about everybody else everybody has different opinions and ways of doing things ways of eating ways of walking and I mean we have all these data and and then just one focus benefit and empowerment and and how the four mainstays that's like like the algorithm that's the toolkit to be completely empowered to see that we don't have to emphasize data anymore there's just no need for that S recognizing open intelligence recognizing <coughs> the power we have as a human being that was completely ignored because we just focus on these things that we just don't like like awkwardness like being sad or irritated and we could have a whole list of data thoughts emotions and experiences that we try to rearrange right and then try to get a good set of data in place but it's so exhausting so then normalizing it like just now saying okay let's make it a really awkward let's be in a really fearful situation scary like not knowing what to say not know or, or saying something really really stupid and then afterwards you have all these thoughts about it yeah so like w when you have a situation like that today just test it out you can really even test that out you rely on open intelligence like just simply for a short moment and then you repeat that many times and then you know how it continues it becomes continuous just short moments like brief moments and it's such a powerful instruction it's like you hear it again and again but what it does it becomes more your direct experience because thinking about it how can like awkward situations or totally afflictive states which one are the worst afflictive states what would you say shame, shame? okay shame jealousy. and jealousy for everybody probably a little bit different but okay let's say these things come up how can we see beneficial potency it's it's like thinking about it that I, w I wouldn't go there because how can get how can we get feeling shameful and then trying to find benefit there but the simply by the short moments instruction and the four mainstays just coming here basically if you don't know what a short moment is it's also fine just coming here listening to these talks g going to these trainings powerful trainings that empower and evoke open intelligence it's already there so it's not something you need to get like handed out it's not like that it's like it's present it's just right here just where you, where you are looking through these eyes right there powerful open intelligence and while while data go on you let them be as they are shame jealousy thinking I want that or, or he's he's better than me or she's she looks great but she's interested in him and or, or we can have all kinds of stories going on right so 
that's the whole barrage of world. Once you open it up, it go, go, goes from one to the next. And it's so much simpler to rely on open intelligence. But maintain open intelligence while it's all running. Mm -hmm. And recognize open intelligence. So that's the simple choice there. And, and everything what you hear here is about that. It's empowering you as a human being, being powerful and not using your intelligence in a disempowering way. And the disempowering way is emphasizing data, emphasizing shame, emphasizing I don't know what the short moment is. Everybody knows we want to be a great rester. We want to be the great, best, we want to take the best short moments. Mm -hmm. And then we, we equal that with having no data. Some of us maybe. <laughs> well, I did that. I, I thought, okay, well, I have to just appear very, um, having no data. Yeah, then then that, that means it's a good rest. Of, and, and then when something came up, then, we, then I thought, oh, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. But actually it's, it's perfect when everything comes up. It's the perfect opportunity. Then I heard Candace also say, the more affliction, the better. I thought, oh, <laughs> that's really uncomfortable though. <laughs> and then I even thought, oh, and if I don't have afflictions, maybe I'm not as powerful. So you, you see, you can just create everything out of anything, really. <laughs> so the best is just to to relax and to let everything be as it is. Everything that goes on in your body, mind, you know, every thought you're having right now and every experience you're having right now is just perfect, exactly as it is, because it is exactly the opportunity to recognize the potency of open intelligence, exactly as it is, as all these data are inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue in the sky. They're inseparable, you know, you can't take it apart. So you can't just look for open intelligence. It's inseparable. And you hear these metaphors, you know, you hear them again and again, but they do something. They, they have that power to, because you don't have to do anything like rest and, and, and really like try to find open intelligence just by listening and, and, and hearing these metaphors, hearing these instructions and knowing that it's exactly in your experience, it's not somewhere else. It becomes obvious, so you don't have to worry. It's not about, I always thought, oh, maybe others will get it quicker or, or I, I'm, not, I'm not going to get it. So all of these kinds of things, it, it, that will just go at one point. Just coming here like again and again, that's why we have everyday open meetings, although we do, Sundays we have off, but they're still, our mainstays are still around. Is still around, <laughs> not only in Arambol, all over the world, and they're right there. So wherever you are, you'll remember short moments. <laughs> and um, it, that makes it effortless, so no effort needed. So you rest naturally without seeking anything. Because you can't have a wrong thought and emotion. And really recognizing that you, you cannot have any kind of wrong thought or emotion. You might have thoughts and emotions you don't like. So certain things just feel really unpleasant or horrible. Or, but those are the ones. You, you, if you don't know what, how to take a short moment, then you plug in into a talk. Like, I just love li listening to a talk. I just got again a shuffle now. <laughs> you know, it's just so easy because you can just click uh, play and then you have, and then just enjoy whenever, whenever you see the shuffle. <laughs> I have it in my bed actually. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just good. And then, and, and that's, you see how available it is. And then these trainings here that are offered, they give the opportunity to come into an environment, see other people who are relying on open intelligence. So it's not only just a few, it's people all around the world empowering each other. We are empowering each other and taking that step, 
saying, no, it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work emphasizing data. Why doesn't it work? I mean, you see how unpredictable these data are. You have now one thought and next minute you have another. When you rely, when you emphasize this data, it goes in all directions. So it makes even sense, like, how, how can we just emphasize data? There, there's such an empowering shift and way of seeing life, then everything is just amazing, even if we don't like it. Starting with eating cornflakes, like that example, you know, like everything is just Everything is just perfect as it is, but we don't have to feel perfect. So we just let everything be as it is, moment to moment. And you test that out in your experience, like right now. That's, that's, our <coughs> that's the main, main suggestion, that we try it out in our experience. Otherwise, it just stays some words. Hmm? And um, the trainings and, and seeing other people, that's, that's, that's all part of the Four Mainstays. Give that environment where we are totally empowered. And we see, we are ev every, each of us have different thoughts and emotions. But in a way, we, once we get to know ourselves deeply, we get to know everybody. Like when we talked about social awkwardness, everybody knew exactly what that meant, right? So you can see how we are all in the same boat, basically. And, and in that way we get to know everybody else. And that is, that is the empowerment. Once you know yourself and you're not afraid anymore about your... From, you're not afraid of your thoughts and emotions. Like you go into situations and you don't have to purposefully go into the situations that are... but you could. But you don't have to, because data come up anyway, <laughs> so you don't have to look for it. But, um, you know, you, you get to know yourself completely. I got to know myself totally. Things I didn't like about myself, it's unavoidable. Once you re rely on open intelligence, you know, all these antidotes and trying to rearrange your thoughts and emotions, that just falls away, step by step. And then you're faced with more data. But that's fine because that is really what makes life easy. My life is so, so easy now. And I was always like tensed, not wanting to feel nervous, anxious, awkward, like everything, shame, everything that was sad, busy, busy. And recognizing there's such a power that we can claim and we can step up for that power. And it's right here, so you don't have to wait till tomorrow or wait till any other time. And that's incredible, like right here. Yeah? <laughs> so that kept me just coming back and back and seeing, wow, my life completely shifted to a life of total ease. That doesn't mean that I always feel like calm and it could be all kinds of things, but that's the lively, beneficial energy of, of open intelligence. So that's nothing wrong. And so that gets more and more clear, even if, we, if we, we don't have to think about that. And so in, in that way, the Four Mainstays are just... Um, like I just jumped into it, like into the Four Mainstays. And it can be step by step, or it can be a just total jump, whatever it is you'll see something will change. And even if you just hear it a couple of times, you'll never forget. That's what I saw, and that's why I, I just wanted to come back. It was so compelling. Mm.